In the party, he just wanna rump. Big boots in the bus, they pump. She a baddie, she knows she a ten. She a baddie with her baddie friend. They like I tell you, always stay hot. Oh, they mad cause I keep making bops. Oh, she mad cause I'm taking her spot. If I was bitches, I'd hate me a lot. Like damn, she in her mood. 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 She lit, get money too. Like damn, she in her mood. Welcome back to my channel. If you already subscribed, if you're not subscribed, welcome to my channel. Go ahead and subscribe while you're here, girl. In this video, we are going to be getting ready slash going to slash celebrating my freaking college graduation. Your girl's gonna be graduating from college. I am so freaking excited. So I'm literally running late to my appointments. We are on my way to get my hair done. If y'all watched the previous episode of this series, y'all saw that I got my little bob. And for some reason, I thought my little bob was gonna last me until graduation and my graduation pictures and my actual graduation are like two weeks away so that was like a real cute idea honestly my bob was stiff she wasn't moving anymore i was tired of straightening my hair and they let me know that wasn't looking good and i feel like once your man tell your hair don't look good it don't look good because men don't know nothing about hair so they tell your hair don't look good it looks bad and they so kindly offered to get my hair done for me for graduation so i'm on my way to get my hair done we're getting braids and i was like so i guess indecisive and i was like i don't know man like braids is that really giving graduation hairstyle but i feel like that's just like a stigma that like braids are not professional you can wear any type of hairstyle you want and it can be professional so yeah your girl's getting some braids for graduation i didn't want to get a wig i've realized at this point i'm done with quick weaves never getting another quick weave in my life it literally took me an hour in the shower to get that shit out there was glue everywhere i washed my hair conditioned it there was still glue my neck was hurting my eyes was fucking burning it was just a hot ass mess i'm getting like some goddess braids with like some curly pieces and stuff i really hope these turn out cute i'm going to my girl Isaiah. she is a super super sweetheart and she does excellent work you know how when you get somebody that do a service for you but like they like your friend too like those be the type of women I'd be so excited to go to because I'd be like not only am I excited to get killed but I'm ready to see you because I love you my hair is washed and blow dried I was gonna try and um, go to Starbucks before my appointment but I was running late now we just gonna door dash some Starbucks because last time she got a Starbucks and I was like girl I gotta return a favor because that was so sweet of you like she, when I tell her she's literally so sweet like super sweet so if you're in the Columbia area go ahead and book with her like I already know after my hair done it's gonna be looking good and y'all gonna want to book with her so I'm telling you not go ahead and book with her okay I know tomorrow I gotta go to the mall because somebody bought me a graduation gift and they sent it to a store so I gotta go pick it up and I also want to see if I can find some more comfortable shoes for graduation because I told y'all the heels that I wore for my pictures they just not doing it for me I'm not a heel girl I'm not like much of a girly girl I don't know I have girly girl tendencies but I'm really not a girly girl I do not like heels so I'm trying to find some like comfy heels or maybe even some sandals to wear for graduation cuz I just can't with the heels mm -mm, it's not given I do need an outfit for my graduation party too and like I have an idea but I don't think it's given I don't know if it's given graduation party outfit so I don't know we're gonna see today's Wednesday so I graduate in three days because I graduate on Saturday Saturday. so right now we're just trying to prepare for graduation if y'all paid attention i don't have on any nails so i'm gonna have to give me some press ons and stuff i think my toes still look decent they're not the best but they look decent enough i'm debating about my lashes like i could definitely use a feel but i don't know i don't really want my makeup done for graduation though to be honest because i just know it's gonna be hot as shit but now my makeup artist she does like these no makeup makeup looks so i think i want to do that and then get a feel that's what i think i want to do but i'm like not really sure about the lashes part yeah girl it's just gonna be another chaotic come to my appointments with me I don't want it to be chaotic, but I don't know. It just always ends up being chaotic because I always procrastinate and just don't be having my shit together. But hopefully this time it don't be like that. At the end of this video, I'll be fucking graduating. So that's so exciting. Stay tuned. Yeah, it be good with this on it. <laughs> Period. Figure out what we're gonna do with these ends. So. So many 
many tears. Go. Oh, boy. Don't play with my girl. Mm. Mm. <laughs> you see Yeah. <laughs> they look so good, Bubbles. Your shake is so pretty, girl. No. Yeah. No, I need a what? Girl, what? You don't see that booty right there? Nah. Y'all, Bubbles is the you goat. You got the light. <laughs> oh, yeah. She, she's the goat because she did it. No, I seen on your book inside you put sweet and soul up and I was like literally that's Aww. you. That's you, like seriously. Thank you, girl. I'm book with my girl Isaiah. Period. Period. So you get Yeah, get mm. into him. Period. Get into him on the baddie. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all <laughs> see it. I hope it's not a black spot on so my camera. Alright, but your girl's home. I just wanted to give y'all a quick little review. Even though I'm gonna talk to y'all tomorrow, I wanna give y'all like my fresh take on my braids. So this is how they look. They look so clean and crisp. Like, they just look so good. It's giving like cute bohemian vibes. And like I said, it just looks so clean and neat. It's so cute. And I got it like, cause y'all can't even see. I don't know why my camera got this little line in there. Like, what are you doing? Hey, mommy. Hey, baby girl. You saw those passengers now. You saw me. So, what do we think? Okay, you. Did you miss me, mama? Daddy told me he's being good and he started acting up. You know, I remember our straw. She was still drinking. That's thirsty. What are you smiling at? You see, mommy. You see, mommy. I'm trying. I told mom I want to get her a game cop um tibia uniform. She might still let her wear it at the graduation. Once we locked in and I'm switching up, I start singing the song. Isaiah start singing it with me. I said, girl, I said, they put me on that little song. She said, girl, I like that song too. I said, I don't even know who sing it. She about some me neither. I got the braids to go light to my butt. Do go like a little past my butt. But yeah, I got them kind of shorter than I normally get because this girl like to put me in. And I don't like using the bathroom with super long braids anymore. It's just not giving. But yeah, these are super cute. Love them. Like I said, tomorrow we're going to be going shopping for some shoes. We got my graduation gift. And I think that's one of two things I need. We need to find some cute personals too. I want to find like some silver on it. But I'm wearing gold. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, we got to get some stuff tomorrow. Obviously, this girl's ready for me to feed her. So I'll see y'all. All right, y'all. So it is what Friday now. Um, we did not go shopping yesterday like I planned, just because I had a whole lot going on. I don't even want to tell y'all all the things that have happened in the past two days, but just know I've had a rough. I ain't gonna say a rough two days, but like things have been happening, and I've been like, you know, brushing it off. But yeah, I literally just cracked my phone. I don't know if y'all can see it. Hold on, can you see it? Kinda. Yeah, I just cracked my phone when we were um getting in the car. We're not even gonna let that phase us because, bitch, I graduate tomorrow. Yeah. I think we were graduating today and that's why I'm like stuck in this fuck ass traffic like when I say out it's so bad dog That's why I was like let me put out my camera go ahead and talk to them because I'm not going anywhere right now So we might as well chit chat so we are on the way first we're gonna go to Best Buy Yeah, I gotta pick up my headphones and then we're going to the mall Well, I need to find some heels because I want something more comfy to wear my dress tomorrow I'm gonna try and find a brunch fit But if not, I just wear my dress to the brunch too And then I need to find a cute little party outfit because I don't really have nothing that's given that I do have something but it's like a skirt and we not wearing no skirt to party like i'm finna be on my ass so i don't need to be wearing no skirt i need something with everything covered so i can be as ratchet as i want to be like i already that's the vibes that's the vibes i don't care if y'all judge me that's the vibes i'm trying to be ratchet ratchet like i deserve it i fucking deserve it i don't know why i feel like these people in this car right here is just staring at me they probably not paying me no mind but i just feel like they're staring at me i don't even know how i'm gonna wear my hair tomorrow it's like an updo would be so cute i also gotta get some press-ons y'all this traffic is so bad like if this is what i have to do or go through tomorrow morning like ah! This is scary. This is fucking scary. Zay was gonna come with me, but I was like, yeah, I'm ready to go now. He's like, go ahead and go. And it's probably for the best because I'm finna be shopping. My mom is sent me my graduation money, so I'm probably gonna get some graduation gifts too. But girl, why did I just spend most of my graduation money on Brent Fias tickets? He better sing because y'all, the tickets were like $50 at first for the pre-sale the other day. We couldn't get pre-sale tickets. I tried to get tickets today. The price kept going up. They started at $256. I ended up paying $323. 
I hate resellers, bro. I hate resellers. I hate resellers. I hate resellers. I hate resellers. I know you gotta get your hustle. Da, da, da. I hate resellers. Like, babe, it wasn't even supposed to be that much. That's a little update. That's kind of what we finna do. I sat there and said, I was like, oh yeah, I'm ahead. I ain't really got that much to do. No procrastinating. Here we are the day before graduation, getting outfits and doing stuff. Oh yeah. So I'm supposed to be getting my lashes filled in today. And then tomorrow, I said, I'm gonna do a no makeup makeup look because, like, I love a good beat, but honestly, like, I know it's gonna be hot and I really don't want to be like cakey and stuff so i told my um makeup artist that we're gonna go for a no makeup makeup look yeah that's what we're gonna do we said 6 30 i think or 7 but we might need to move it up because this traffic right here is looking atrocious like let me show y'all because y'all thought like i'm bugging but this is literally like right down the road from my house so i've moved like less than a mile within the last 10 minutes this is crazy but i'll see y'all whenever we get to the mall i've been blowing through the money like you're going to I've been on a French, say la vie. I just put them on a jet, now they all Italian. Way I'm dressed until I've been to a thousand dollars. This is live, I getting shots, but she's still a stallion. She don't even get the joke, but she's still smiling. Every night, late night, like I'm Jimmy Fallon. Call the shoot from anywhere, like you ready on. Cody, turn me up. Cody, turn me up. Cody, turn me up. Got a fur on a tamper, got me burning up. Shorty said she graduated, she ain't learning enough. Play the album track one, okay, I heard enough. Girl, to drive it downstairs, better hurry up. Savage got a new stick, you wanna dirty up. Touch down to NY, tear the Mercer up. Hey, both take a shades with a great sense. Introduce me to a new, yeah, it makes sense. Gotta put her on the team, got a great bench. Like, like, instantly, I was like, yeah, no. That was, that was my thought. Linking with the ops, I did that for J Prince. I, I did it for the mall ties. Feel like 17, two first for all guys. And I never been the one to go apologize. Me, I'd rather hit him up one more time. Hey, known a girl for six months, dinner up at my place. But I got these diamonds on my neck, so it's a blind day. All my niggas on the roads, racing up the crime rate. Your name not ringing out here, yeah, it's on vibrate. And she took the spell, now I'm sure he got a hydrate. And he did some dirt, now my crody got a migrate. Probably won't see him for some years when I do, though. Turn me up. Cody turn me up, Cody turn me up, hey, Cody turn me, hey, yeah, what, Cody turn me, what? In the drop top bins like it's 03. Had the shooters aim down from the nosebleed. Gotta get this passport, keep my nose clean. Try to burn me up, keep a man a tuck. Yeah. Y'all, I am so funny. Why is it 1.50 in the morning? The night before my graduation and i'm still up like i don't have to be up in the morning so let me give y'all a recap i was supposed to go get my lashes filled in but i just didn't <laughs> like why do i keep doing this myself i literally i'm not gonna lie i kind of do like the rush like i kind of like feeling under pressure a little bit but at the same time i don't but like i keep doing this to myself so i don't know i'm probably not gonna be able to get my lashes filled in unless my lash tech lets me come like really early like six in the morning but i'm not even tripping about it because they don't really look that bad i asked her if she could still do like a no makeup makeup look because i don't know if she can without me having to feel so we'll see they told us to be there by 8 30 but like i told y'all today the traffic was really bad so i'm supposed to leave like really early so i can get there on time because they want us to be seated by 8 30 it's like an hour before sure, you shut up they want us to be there like an hour before the ceremony because the ceremony starts at 9 30. i don't know what how i'm finna be looking tomorrow but my hair is done and i am naturally beautiful so if i don't get anything done then it's so whatever i just thought about it i have to do my freaking nails why don't i do this to myself okay anywho i did not show y'all what i got from the mall yet so i'm gonna just kind of give y'all a little mini haul or whatever yeah we're gonna start off with this place called lo visa lo visa whatever they literally just came into our mall they cousin was supposed to have the brunch with me but she realized she's not gonna have no time to go to the brunch and make it on time to her graduation because she gotta be there at like 1 30 so now it's just gonna be like basically my family at the brunch like people who aren't going to her graduation i bought this little scrunchie to kind of go with my brunch outfit it was a five foot ten my dumbass i went up there with three things and she was like it's five foot ten i was like okay i don't know what i was thinking so i got these cute little black matte earrings this is what i got the second time because i just i don't know i got these really cute like i just love these so much and i'm like i don't even know when i'm gonna wear these but i just thought these were super cute and i was like even if i don't wear them tomorrow i don't know they're just super cute and then i got uh, these like little just silver diamond studs because i always lose the earrings and then i got some more pearls because 
I lost the pearls that I wore for my graduation pictures. I'm probably end up wearing the pearls tomorrow. Next place I went to is Aldo. So the main reason why I went shopping today was to get some comfortable graduation shoes. This is what we came up with. Um, a lady at the store, she was really, really helpful. I told her like, you know, I need something really comfortable and I need something to go with my white graduation dress. She recommended me these. She said that she wears these to work and that because it's like a low heel and it's like a kind of block heel, it would be really good. They had some that were like lower than this and they had like different straps, which I kind of had like how the other ones look better, but it was more like a bone color and not as much white. So I just ended up getting these and um, these like, I'm not crazy about this strap part up here, but they look really cute with my jeans on. So I think I'm gonna like these with pants. Hopefully they are comfortable. It says auto pillow walk, but even if they're not, she told me to put these insoles in them and that they would be comfortable. And she was like, that's the secret to wearing heels. And I'm like, thank you girl, because every time I wear them, I just can't like i literally cannot so hopefully i'll be comfortable in these heels tomorrow um i'm hoping they'll go up my dress good i saw some really cute gold heels in forever 21 but they're like platform and lace up and i was like babe you're cute and all but you're not giving functional the laces are going to keep falling off and i'm probably not going to be able to walk on you so i let those in the store where they were at but i did pick up i got two items from forever 21 it's supposed to be like my brunch fit but i don't really know girl it's giving all over the place i'm probably gonna have to make something shape with this so i got this little skirt it's like a black satin mini skirt and when i tell you this thing is short she's short when i tried it on i don't know like couldn't get it to fit right on my badonka donk it was like super high and i kept turning around and stuff but hopefully it fits right tomorrow and i got this because it matches some low black satin heels that i have that are actually comfortable and a black little tote bag that i have it's like a brandon blackwood tote and i haven't worn that bag since we went on that youtube trip years ago and i really really like that bag so i was like this would be perfect for me to wear with it and that's why i got the black scrunchies so you know vibes or whatever for a brunch vibe i really want to go colorful but everything Thing that i saw was colorful it either wasn't in my size and then i was sending stuff to the day like is this cute is this not cute and the thing that i sent him he said it wasn't cute i'm gonna put a picture on the screen so the pink look you had to see the vision but they didn't see it so i was like i'm not getting it so i got this little white shirt to go with it i don't know if this is gonna give either and i got both of these in a small i'm realizing that i'm bigger than i thought i was like i thought i was still extra small girly no bitch you're a small you are a small so i got this stuff in a small i feel like it's still gonna be too big on me because i am convinced that i'm extra small but literally i am i'm getting a little weight on me so it'll probably fit right i'm hoping that it's long and not cropped i didn't try this one on because i seen it after i tried on everything else and i was just ready to go at that point but yeah hopefully it gives a cute little vibe I'm thinking that if I don't like this shirt with the skirt, then I'll probably just do like a little bodysuit with the skirt. I just want to wear the skirt because I'm really dying to wear that bag. The last thing that I got to show y'all, these are the press ones that I got from Walmart. They're just like really cute, really simple. I wanted to do like, I don't know what I wanted to do, but I was like, this would be cute. And then after the fact, I was like, your dress is white, but my gown is black and this is black. Yeah, I never ended up getting an outfit from Forever 21 for party just because everything that I did find, I just didn't feel like super confident in it like i thought it was cute but i didn't feel like i was confident in it or i didn't feel like it matched the vibe so i was like i'm just gonna make something out of what i got at home like some new pieces that i got that nobody seen me wear so that's what we're gonna do for that but this don't necessarily match all the outfits that i got but it's just a plain simple cute look and i feel like it's edgy and it goes with the vibes i don't know is this cute i feel like this is cute together this with this and this and do you see the vision? I don't know. We're going to see tomorrow. So I'm going to go to bed. It's like 2 in the morning. We'll see if I end up getting food tomorrow for graduation. I'm really not sweating it because it's not that deep to me. Like, I only get makeup for special occasions. I just feel like my makeup not going to last all day. Or I'm going to want to take it off if it does last all day. So I'm not tripping if I don't get my makeup done. Can we talk about their eco-friendly bag? Like, I just love it. Plus, the lady in there, her customer service, A1, she was like, I didn't even tell you what she did. But she looked out for me. So shout out to you, boo. But yeah, that's that's everything I had to show y'all. We'll see if this stuff I can train work in the morning. Cause like I said, don't know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna wake up like six in the morning just in case my lash tech can like fit me in. But if not, it is what it is. I'm not even taking off of it for real. So I'm gonna get four hours of sleep. Probably gonna make myself a coffee in the morning and go with the vibes. But yeah, I gotta put these on too though. So I probably should put these on tonight, right? I do this tomorrow morning. I'm literally fucking up. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up because <laughs> i need to do this tonight but i'm gonna do it tomorrow i just don't feel like it right now honestly i thought like i'm just gonna rush and do it bad i did go pick up my airpods but i'm gonna show you all my gifts at the end of the video but that was everything i got from the mall and a little update so i will see y'all in 
four hours. All right, y'all, I'm gonna try to be quiet because Novi and Zay are still sleeping. It is like 5.30 in the morning. Um, I'm about to get ready. I still am gonna go get my makeup done. I'm gonna leave here at 6.30 so I can get there at seven. And then she said it should take 30 minutes. And then we're gonna go to the arena for the ceremony. I'm in the dim right now, like laying out all my stuff. And I was about to get my shoes for brunch. You know, the whole shoes that I plan my entire brunch outfit around? Why they not here? They at my mom's house, so I have to like pivot really quickly and come up with another brunch look. I'm still gonna use this shirt that I bought. It's so cute. And then I'm gonna wear these jeans from Zara. I had another top to go with it, but I feel like this would be super cute. And because the pants are so loud, I just feel like it'll go together. And like I told y'all, the heels that I'm wearing for graduation, they look gonna look so good with some um pants. So I'm gonna wear the heels that I'm wearing for graduation with this. And then I'm gonna use my Draquamis chocolate mess bag because it has like little gold details and i'm gonna use my um mk watch i don't know if i'm gonna find some other gold jewelry but that's basically gonna be the vibe for brunch if i don't wear that i'm just not gonna change at all and then i'm trying to figure out which bag i'm gonna bring for graduation because i want to bring my camera with me and i need to bring my press on because i'm gonna try and do them like while we waiting because we got to be there at 8 30 so i'm thinking from 8 30 to 9 30 i'm just gonna put my press on because i'm gonna have nothing better else to do than just sit there and wait but yeah i want to bring my camera put up a charger my press homes probably some lip gloss we're gonna hop in the shower so we can go ahead and leave girl i need to shave too these are the bad options i just feel like this goes with it so well but i feel like a crossbody would be good so like if they don't want me to actually have a bag i can just put it underneath my robe and nobody gonna know and then i was indecisive about which jewelry to wear i'm supposed to do the pro but now i'm thinking about doing like this and this so i'm gonna get in the shower and i'll see y'all whenever i start putting on my cap and cam y'all like this angle all right y'all so obviously i'm dressed um i did wrap my edges because yesterday i put equal style on my edges and baby girl they did not last my little edges was curling up so i used my normal edge control today and i wrapped it up so hopefully it'll stay and the graduation is inside so i'm hoping that you know they will last but yeah i'm dressed fun fact when i took my graduation pictures i had on my dress wrong and i was just like rushing i got dressed in the car i told y'all that so i didn't even think about it until after the fact and i'm looking at the pictures and i'm like this is not how my dress supposed to look but today i need to make sure i wear my dress correctly it is 6:48. i'm on my way to get my no makeup makeup look done i'm interested to see how this looks because this keeps bobbling no can you not i'm really interested to see how this is gonna look because i've never tried a no makeup makeup look she said that i had a skin for it but i just want to see like if it's really given or if it's just like bitch you should just got a full face i know i didn't want a full face today though so yeah i feel like i got everything i need to get or whatever but it's always gonna be something and it's the shoes babe like i feel like they're supposed to be comfortable but well i looked at a little package and it told me to put the little insoles at the balls of my feet and when i tell you these shoes are so tight like right in that area so i'm gonna move the little insoles to the back of the heels because i feel like that's where my feet normally hurt at when i wear heels anyways and see if that's more comfortable but if not i'm just not gonna wear the insoles i'm gonna have to switch that around but everything else i feel pretty good about i definitely am anxious like i literally could not sleep i woke up 10 minutes before i was supposed to i ended up getting everything done that i need to get done i even was able to shave my underarms and my legs so we love that for me but i don't know it's just always it's always gonna be chaotic and just all over the place i feel like unless i get ready two or three hours ahead of time like i'm always gonna be feeling kind of like rushed but i told y'all last night i kind of like that feeling a little bit like to an extent i know it sounds crazy but i like it to an extent because i just feel like it makes me like go 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 whatever we finna get this makeup done so i'll probably see y'all when we get there i did ask her if she can run um some boiling water for me because i want to redip my ends my braids i don't think last night but the night before when i wrapped my braids like they got bent and stuff and they just don't look fresh at the end for these to be what two day old braids like they need to be given so yeah we're gonna boil them so that they can look like nice and clean again so i will see y'all when i get there
up all night Fuck me till the daylight Dirty for the daylight Members of the authority vested in the University of South Carolina by the people of this state, acting through their representatives in the General Assembly and on the Board of Trustees of this institution, and on the recommendation of the faculty thereof, the University of South Carolina confers upon each of you the degree for which you have been recommended, together with all the rights, honors, privileges, and responsibilities thereto appertaining. Congratulations, class of 2023. Graduating class will please come forward as their names are called. Yeah. That's so cute. So cute. Maggie said yeah. Hey vlog, what's good? We're about to graduate. Catch us on the stage. <laughs> I literally almost forgot my stones in the car. I was walking and I seen that they was not on me, so I had to wet some But they doing, I don't know what they doing now. It's not science. I don't know, some college. But we'll be next. Y'all just want to go take an hour. They said an hour and 10 minutes. And it's like over 2,000 of us, or about 2,000. I see all. I'm gonna walk across the stage, maybe. I think say or make my gotta record that. Jocelyn Sanders. Your girl is officially graduated. I'm waiting on my family to come outside. I left early because I was not finna wait for them people to walk back out. They were just doing dumb stuff after that. As we did the tassels, I'm like, what are we waiting on? So I walked out before my family did, and I'm waiting on them so we can take pictures and stuff. And then we're gonna go to brunch. I was debating I changed my outfit, but I really want to, I think. But your girl's graduated! Every time I think stuff like this is gonna be like so dramatic, it don't be like, I'm glad that I graduated, but I don't think it hit me yet. I'm like, ready school that's crazy i'm racing my baby girl excuse me yes you might take a picture of course thank you congratulations i love your necklace thank you thank you i'm wide awake i got enough stuff for you yeah i love mine all right she don't drink well for what i see she don't drink that if it ain't coming from you she don't want it it's okay. You got a camera? My mom, dad, How old was that one? I was 1892 when I was at the back row for about 1900. Oh, they say 340,000. That's the total of this year? Let me say about these, like. Okay. Like, you know, niggas like dick and stuff like that. <laughs> like, what do they know about that? Oh, God. I thought they were about to go in the water. <laughs> what do y'all know about the D word? Okay, y'all, so it's like way later in the day. It's like 6.06. Do I have enough gas? Oh, fuck me. I don't. Oh, no, I don't have enough gas. 
So we gotta stop for gas too. Basically, after we went to brunch, we went to the liquor store and we picked up some bottles. I'm gonna show all the bottles when we get to my mama's house. And then we went back to my house and everybody was kind of chilling. And then my auntie and her kids left. They had already took his nap. So I went in the room to take my nap. And then we woke up, cleaned up a little bit because Zay's family came over. They were literally in and out, but we just cleaned up a little bit because we thought they won't stay longer. We also just wanted to clean up because we know we like leaving and everything. Now we are on the way to my mama's house. I'm having my graduation party at my mama's house just because in the country you can be as loud and as ghetto as you want to and my apartment is not the place for parties plus a lot of like our family and friends like that's just like home for all of us i'm finna pick up a refresher from starbucks um i've been wanting starbucks all week but i just literally have never made it so yeah we finna get some starbucks i'm gonna try out this new drink that i'm really excited about i have realized that i really like mango flavor so this is going to be a this is gonna be a mango lemonade a dragon fruit refresher but instead of the little dragon fruit inclusions i'm doing strawberry puree and i added peach juice so i think this should be really good because i like all these flavors and i think it's gonna give like a tropical vibe and if i like it then it can be like my little new summer drink so yeah you all see my fingers I never got to put on my nails when I was at graduation I was trying to do it but like the glue wasn't open and I tried to do it with my teeth and it just wasn't working out so I was like fuck it the party's supposed to start at 8 but I know black people we never on time and like when we get to my mama's house I gotta change my clothes cause I literally have on a t-shirt and some baggy ass old ass pink boxers and some foam runners so I gotta like change my clothes and I gotta pump before I drink but I'm just like we told everybody 8 o'clock but I feel like nobody ever shows up when they post to so I should have time to get all that done before the crowd start arriving and everything and i think we supposed to have pizza and wings i honestly have to say y'all like i feel like graduating was like surreal for me because i don't know i knew like i like when i graduated from high school i wasn't very emotional but i think college was like more of a struggle for me and more of a challenge for me so i feel like i would be more emotional but like literally it just feel like regular smegla like i don't know and i'm like obviously proud and happy but i don't feel like it hit me yet like i'm really done with school like what and my mama keep trying to like convince me to go back to school to get a graduate's degree and i'm not totally against that but just not right now like i need a break i literally thought about i was like but you've been in school for like the last like what 16 yeah. i don't understand how this angle works out for me sometimes and other times it's like nah oh. fuck me literally and don't even understand why you don't want that this is fucking horse shit finally got the freaking angle um, when I got to Starbucks, my SD card was full, so y'all didn't see me getting the drink, but I waited just for y'all to get a taste test. Let me take a picture of this because it's actually kind of cute. It don't look like how the one um, I seen on Instagram had looked. Okay, so we're going to try this out and see if it tastes good. I like this. It's giving like tropical, like you can taste all the flavors in there. I'm trying to see what it's giving like. I can definitely taste the strawberry. I feel like I can taste the peach. I don't know if I'm tasting the mango, but it's good. If you like like my strawberry acai lemonade refresher, that's kind of tart. This is like a lot more sweet, but I really like it. Like this is definitely gonna be in my summer rotation. Like that's a good drink. So IG, you hooked me up with that one. We're literally getting gas because I was not gonna make it home. Oh yeah, my makeup still looks really good. Like to say I took a nap and everything, it looks pretty good. I'm like really happy with this natural beat because you know like sometimes you get your makeup done and people are like, that don't even look like you. I hate when people say that. No, I want to look like how I look with my makeup done, like how I look like I don't make up so I'm glad that this gives natural and it looks like me edges of course have like roly poly up so I'm gonna have to do those again but yeah the gas is done it I'm literally gonna go home I'll see y'all when I get home um after I pump and probably when I'm trying to figure out an outfit let's hope people aren't there because that's gonna be kind of embarrassing I'm always late to my own shit though like I'm notorious for this yeah I'm excited party time like everything else been cool but i'm ready to fucking get lit okay y'all so we are at my mama's house i have already pumped we got like a good seven ounces and i got some more milk that i'm gonna feed her before i start drinking but we trying to figure out the outfit right now girl. so all right so i picked up a bunch of jeans i got these levi's these i'm not gonna wear these because my butt be hanging out of these and i don't think i can even fit those no more and then i got these like medium distress jeans i got this gray bodysuit that i was thinking about doing with my yeezys because i brought those this white tank i'm thinking it's probably gonna be what i'll wear but it's wrinkly and then i got this which i already wore this before to a concert but like throw it on again sis like it's cute and i like that my legs will be covered because when i was unloading the car i already got um bit by a mosquito but yeah so i think i'm just gonna put this on honestly and the shorts and stuff like it's cute but i don't think it's like right for this occasion so i'm not gonna just 
Oh, this song. And I got, I'm wearing some of my Balenci's. They're not the most comfortable shoe, but I'm just gonna be here at home so I can take them off whenever I want to. Yeah, so we got the outfit. So I think I'm gonna take a shower. I hope I don't mess up my makeup too much. But I'm gonna take a shower, freshen up, do my edges and everything, and I'm gonna come back to y'all when everybody starts coming. Of course, black people being black people. We said we starting at 8. It's like probably 8.15. Nobody's here. But I kind of knew that going in. That's why I said 8 o'clock because I was like, 8 o'clock really mean 9 o'clock black people time. So yeah, I'll show y'all when everybody start arriving and stuff. I didn't show y'all what we got from the look store yet, but we still waiting on some bottles that Zay Daddy got. So I'll probably show y'all whenever those bottles get here. All the liquor that we got. But yeah, we finna have some fun. I'm excited. I feel good. It's about to be showtime. This is the final look, y'all. Find out your DNA today. Tiffany Tone. These is the selection. I did this. I'll typically tell you that. But you do it this way. I need it this way. And that one with Tiffany and her, all her training and stuff. Like, I, I put the date out if it's available. It's like, it's going to be like the end of July, August, something like this. We just go for a couple yeah. of days. They'll be, we'll be up there for five days. All right, everybody. We're all gathered here tonight for the celebration of Bubbles' graduation and Aja. Woo-woo. Thank you. Woo-woo. They got their bachelor's motherfucking degree, four years strong, from a prestigious school, USC, University of South Carolina. That is a privilege and an honor for a black woman to go to a school like that and get a degree. Heads up, I mean, what's the hats up? Hats up to them. And let's drink on that. Congratulations. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. May I make plenty of motherfucking money. Toby, what you drinking, boo? Starbucks, baby. She's a Starbucks, baby. Eat y'all pizza, Nick. Eat y'all drink them. You too. Come on. Madison, that burn. That's how Tilly said when we first came. That one burn, bro. Yeah. I mean, hold on. Oh, I went in on my professional pictures coming back, but I did take some with this. Y'all didn't see it. This is supposed to everything. Shot the clock? Preach. Shot the clock. Hey. Blue rolling. Say hey. 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 Okay, guys, so it is literally days, maybe even weeks after my graduation. I don't know why I took so long to close this video out. I'm still trying to let sink in that I actually graduated. I'm actually done with school, like literally forever if I want to be. So yeah, um, it's still surreal to me that I graduated, but I did want to close out this video and kind of just give y'all a recap of everything. I also want to show y'all the graduation gifts that I have, and I have a really exciting announcement. So my graduation party was really nice. I didn't even show y'all, but my mama actually did do a little bit of decorations for me. So it was cute. I told her like, you don't got to decorate. I just 
want to eat good, get drunk, but she did do a little bit of decorations. So I'm going to put pictures on the screen of that, but it was really nice. I appreciate everybody who came out to celebrate me and my accomplishment. And yeah, I did not get as drunk as I wanted to. Like I never blacked out. I was fine, but I had fun and I'm glad that I actually was, you know, conscious to remember everything. So yeah, um, my party was really good. And then literally like maybe a week or less than that after my graduation, if y'all watch like my little chit chat, get ready with me video, I told y'all like I do have a job opportunity, but I don't want to tell y'all too much because I don't know like if it's really solid yet. Well, I ended up getting a call that I could like come in and interview for the job. I interviewed for the job and ended up getting the job. So I ain't gonna shout out too much of the offer letter, but you know, I'm just super, super excited because this job, like when I tell you, is so perfect, like the location and everything, like it's just so perfect. I'm gonna show you. I just blurred out, but yeah, I got a full-time position as a communication specialist without giving too much away. Basically, I will be a communication specialist for a school district. So I will be moving back home with my mama like I was thinking I would. And I don't know, I think that's just going to allow me to stack up my breasts so that within the next, I'm hoping for the next two years, but the next two to three years, I'll be able to buy my own house. Yeah, that's really, really exciting. I'm like really taking big girl steps. So back in December, I was applying to jobs left and right. Like I was applying jobs that I wasn't even interested in for real, like just applying, 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 just applying to any and every job because there are like a lot of young, successful people around me. And anytime I would talk to them or they would be brought up, it would just make me feel kind of triggered, I guess. And I'd be like, I gotta be successful. Like I gotta be successful. And I would just instantly apply to jobs. I had a handshake on my phone. I don't know if y'all know what kind of app that it is but it's like it's through your college it's like indeed but like a college version in a way and i would be on there 24 7 applying to jobs and literally like only one job that i applied to even called back and like i've had jobs before but they were like entry level jobs jobs you can get like without a degree working in retail and in fast food so it was really discouraging at first this job opportunity literally came to me i did not have to do too much for it i didn't have to force it so moral story is do not force anything if something's meant for you it will come to you i had this realization early this morning and it's like the universe will give you the opportunity it's up to you to take it so if it's meant to be it will be because the universe is going to hand you the opportunity all you gotta do is take it don't worry about force and stuff i'm not saying like just sit on your ass and expect things to come to you but if something is meant for you it will happen and everything's going to align to where it'll work out for you and that's literally how it was with this job like when i tell you i couldn't ask for a better job location money like it's perfect for me literally perfect for me and i'm actually so excited to start i'm like how am i gonna you know do content and working and mom life like i'm just like thinking about all the things and i'm getting me a little work wardrobe and just doing all the things i'm really like stepping into my big girl era which i'm super excited for and i can't wait for y'all to come on this journey with me so i don't know if y'all interested in all the like working career stuff y'all let me know because i definitely will make videos about that because it is about to be such a large portion of my life i'm so blessed and thankful that a week after graduating i have a job like a good job at that like a very very good job so i'm super excited i'm so thankful like i still cannot wrap my head around it like every morning i wake up and i'll be like i'm blessed for my job like that's one of the things that i give gratitude for every morning because literally it's like just the perfect job for me and i'm so excited to start it so that was the announcement i was supposed to tell y'all the announcement at that show y'all the stuff but now let me show y'all some of the gifts that i got for graduation we gotta do this quick because i don't know my camera keep wanting to die first thing that i got super impulse but my mama she gave me money and i just ended up getting these shoes i haven't bought any jordans in a super long time and these are just so like different and girly and i feel like they're special i did not realize they're gonna be 180 if i knew that i probably wouldn't even ask for them but yeah i did get these so really cute i told you i'm not a heel girl so i want to be one of those girlies that wear like cool shoes to work and stuff and wear sneakers and stuff like i'm trying to be that girl zay's daddy got me these airpods and he literally texted me today mind you like it's a full like two weeks after i graduated and he was like how's your wanna be bold headphones working have not opened it up we're unboxing them now i'm so excited like this is definitely my favorite graduation gift just because when i'm like on the road or in a public place and i want to edit and it's noise this is literally going to help me concentrate so much better can y'all see this the girl got the airpods i'm so happy these yeah and then like another thing when i was working out it was so annoying that when i go to do sit-ups or stuff like that my headphones would always fall off they smell like acrylic they smell like acrylic and liquor they have a very strong smell but like babe, they're so sleek let me put them on my ears yo who what i'm sorry i can't hear you <laughs> Uh, I gotta get me the little stand now. I'm so excited. These were like a really good investment. I just couldn't invest it on myself. But thank you so much to Mr. Terry for getting those for me. And then I got like a few graduation cards. I did get like some money already. I told y'all that. But I don't know. I'm just gonna open some of my cards with y'all. 
And me, I'm the type of person I like to read my cards. So as long as they're not too personal, I'm gonna read it. Graduating college isn't about what you're leaving behind. It's about what you care for. Friends you made, skills you hone, and all that you learn about the world and about yourself. I like that. Aww, that's so sweet. Today is a celebration of everything you take with you as you head toward a bright future. Congrats, grad. Love you, Sue. And see, like me, when I go pick out cards for people, I legit read them. I'm like, I gotta find the perfect card for that person. My camera died. In the glow of her smile and the confidence of her stride, you can see she's a woman of grace, full of spirit and pride, and there's nothing she can't do or be. Congrats, grad. Love HB. She shines. I love it. This is educated black queen. Period. My family love me. That's all I got to say. Y'all see my smile just keep getting bigger and bigger? Nah, but somebody has literally given me a dollar before and a card and I still appreciate it because you literally went out and bought me a card. Like, I just love cards. Graduation, memories made, goals achieved, challenges met, blessings received, <laughs> period. Bubbles, cheers and congratulations on all you've accomplished and God's rich blessings on your future. Love, Aunt Trish. I'm not really religious, but I still appreciate it. So thanks, Aunt Trish. I got one more. It says, may today be filled with pride and joy with all your loved ones near. May the future bring good health, good luck, good fortune through each year. May your life be blessed with love, good friends, success, all the things that mean most, and always happiness. Toya, super sweet. Oh yeah, I forgot y'all. So my mommy did get me these too. These are the Dior lip oils. I'm super excited about this one because like this color, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? What? So they're both the lip oils or the lip glow oils. And I got this one. They're cherry oils. I just think they're so cute. Like I'm like obsessed with the whole mini era, mini everything. So I just thought this was super cute. I love the packaging and it better work. I mean, these were like, I think 40 something ish retail. We got them on sale at Macy's. So if you want to get them like a little bit cheaper than retail, try out Macy's. But I just think these are super cute. And these were another one of my graduation gifts. So yeah, this was everything that I got for graduation. I'm Super proud of myself if you graduated this year congrats to you because baby college is not easy so salute to you and congratulations and uh, i hope that you have a good bright future ahead of you and even if you don't like use your degree or you don't go into a field that was like related to your major as long as you're doing something that makes you happy and makes you money and if you don't make you money but you financially good or whatever that don't matter like long as you're happy in life that's all that matters and for anybody who's a young adult like the biggest advice that i can give you is to follow your own path for me i feel like i looked around a lot of people who like I said it's a lot of people and my family is A's family that are young and successful and I'll look at them and be like oh I gotta follow the exact same path as them to be as successful as them my path is different than everybody else's my interests are different than everybody else's so follow your own path go on your own pace and yeah your path might be lonely and it might be dark because it's the path less traveled but it can bring you to better things in the end and literally I'm just getting started on my path you know what I'm saying I'm still at the early stages of it so there's so much more down the road so much more to come and if this is your first time watching my channel I hope you will subscribe so you can kind of come on the journey with me and if you've been here i appreciate you some of y'all been watching me since like i said my high school graduation since i first started youtube so if you're still here like you don't understand how much i appreciate you and you literally watch me grow up like literally i'm sure you can tell it's been a big difference in my maturity since you first met me till now and i'm continuing to grow and evolve so i appreciate all of y'all i thank everybody for watching this is a really big special moment for me so i really hope that y'all enjoyed this video Hopefully it gave you some motivation if you're still in college or if you're out of college and you just wanted to relive the moment or whatever girl i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see y'all in my next one bye